Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of Rapid Out. Today I got a brand new uh um a new aspiring rapper here with me. Brand kind of a brand new one. Cue the seer. Say hey to the world, bud. Hey, nice to be on. How's it going? It's uh it's good to be here. You know, I'm it's uh this is a great opportunity. And uh, you know, um, hey, if, if I uh, maybe resonate with some of your fans, and that's that's a pretty that would be a pretty good opportunity for me. And hey, uh, it's nice to meet you. It's uh, great to be on. You know, we, we had a little bit of a conversation before, and it's um, you know, it's uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet someone else who's uh, also really into hip hop. You know. Yeah. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. All right, man. <laughs> um, <laughs> why don't you do? Why don't you tell the audience a bit about yourself? All right, so um, my name is Q the Seer. Um, I'm 18 years old. I'm you know fresh out of high school. I'm in uh, college now, uh, and I, I I really enjoy hip hop. I'm um, you know I, I I'd say I'm more old school. You know, inspired by a lot of that like East Coast sound, uh, as well as like you know this whole um, I, I guess uh, social politics like that. So I, I'm really into um. You know, making comment like I guess political or social commentary. Um, uh, let's see. So, like um, Public Enemy, I'd say would be uh, one of my inspirations. I'm, um, I'm I'm fairly inspired by their work and like their their whole uh, you know pro black agenda that sort of stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's my. I, I guess that's what you can expect from out of my rhymes. You know. Yeah. Definitely. Thanks for the introduction. All right, man. Let's get into the, the exciting part of one of it. All right. All right. Um. So, let's start off with the first question. Um. What the first thing we should talk about is like, uh, how did the journey with music start for you? Uh, you cut out, but it sounded like you asked me what got me into music. Oh, yeah. I said, how did the journey with music start? Mm. Okay, yeah. So, uh, good question. So, back in the day, um, I was in maybe, like, uh, let's see, seventh grade. Um, that, yeah, that's about when I got into hip-hop. And I had a lot of... Um, well, I, I had a uh, couple friends at the time. You know, they were... Um, um, an interesting lot, but so one of them was really into Eminem. Um, so he introduced me to that. And at the time I wasn't really into music. Uh, I mean, like I had what my, you know, my parents showed me like the Beatles and, and that sort of stuff. Um, but I mean, at the time I didn't really understand that. So I was looking for my own way. Um, and like, I just gave it a list and I just instantly hooked, like, you know, there were songs where I, I laughed and then cried. Uh, so that entered into a several year long Eminem phase. Um, I, Eminem's not really like, you know, big on my list right now. I'm uh, not like, you know, he's very talented and all that, but uh, just like, you, you know, it doesn't really vibe with me that much anymore. Um, but that's how I got really into hip hop. And then uh, eventually, you know, once I started like really trying to dissect and figure out what he's doing, I'd like, I, I try and like, you know, write my own rhymes. You know, I, I'd, I'd listen to interviews by him, like, you know, uh, see what his process was and try to emulate it. Uh, and I, I think that's something that a lot of uh, young rappers do is they, they just bite their favorite artists until they can actually make their own uh, style, which is, I, I guess, I think that's how I got into music really is like, I'd listen to Eminem and then, um, you know, eventually I'd start branching out into like, you know, some more creative, uh, artists, you know, Nas, um, or well, not, not I, I don't want to say more creative, but, uh, also creative artists like Nas and, um, you know, more mainstream ones until like, you know, less and less mainstream. Um, and I just like sort of listen to their style, try to understand it and comprehend it and then try to maybe incorporate some of it into my own. Um, until eventually, you know, I'd have something that didn't sound like someone else's. Um, and I just, I started really enjoying it, you know, in high school. Um, my freshman year, I joined a club. Uh, it was, what was it? Um, Creative Writing Club or uh, Rap and Poetry. Um, and there I, I actually got to meet other people who also enjoyed writing rap. And at that point I was complete crap. Like I, I wasn't, <laughs> you know, it was the sort of monosyllabic rhymes. Like, like I have a cat in the hat and I'm a hit him with the bat. <laughs> uh, like, like you just, you know, basic building blocks. But at that point I was only a couple years old in my like rapping talent, rap, my rapping repertoire. So, um, yeah, but like being next to other people who were better than me really like, 
uh, you know, pushes you to become better and, and having other people to practice with and uh, have fun, maybe even battle sometimes uh, really sort of made me uh, advance in, in my ability to write and also my drive to write. Um, I, I started out off like writing stuff, like really poetic stuff. And then as I continued, I tried to make it, um, you know, less abstract and more concrete, more um, like, like lyrical. Uh, and by that, I mean, like, like, you know, play on words, that sort of stuff, like that hip hop, basically, instead of just poetry. Because um, at the time, I wasn't sure if I wanted to write poems or write hip hop. Uh, and then I started branching off more towards hip hop. Um, and then as it progressed, you know, my, my styles changed. It went, I spent a time where I just wanted to, you know, rap really fast, put as many uh, similar sounding words in as possible. Um, then I got more towards like, you know, more recently, I'm, I'm now in a phase where the, um, the lines matter, but what I what matters even more is the actual meaning behind them, the message behind them and, you know, what it's actually conveying to the audience. Uh, and, well, actually that, yeah, so that was last year. And then now I'm trying to keep that same energy, keep that same, uh, effort put into the actual content, uh, and, but also make it sound really interesting using the, uh, cadence and, and everything like that. So that's a little bit of backstory. <laughs> that's really cool, man. Yeah. Really cool. Do you enjoy writing? Thank you. Oh yeah, uh, I definitely enjoy writing. And it's, it's one of those things where it's like, um, I can write uh, like just whenever I want, but it doesn't always turn out fantastic. <clears throat> it's a bit of something in my throat. Um, so like if, I think I find I write my best when I'm in like a certain mindset. Uh, so I enjoy writing a lot, um, but I what I when I really enjoy it is when I feel like I have something to say or an emotion to convey to my audience. Uh, so yeah, I enjoy writing, but I don't do it all the time because even though like practice writing will be uh, really nice for just like how I can express myself. Actually, making a good song it doesn't come all the time. You know, it, it has to be. In certain certain at certain points. Oh wow! I definitely felt a, a lot of emotion when you told that. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I mean, yeah, I, I try to I try to keep it pretty emotional, or like, yeah. I mean, I'll I'll I'll, I'll save I'll save some of this so we can actually have a a nice length podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, your style is unique, and I like that. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, this is the perfect place for you to express that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so crazy. I mean, I mean like, it, I I find my style is more uh, old school, or or not. I don't want to say old school because that that sort of brings into mind something that has already been done. Um, I mean, for sure, like you know, there's nothing new under the sun. It's all been done before, but in just in new ways. Um, but it's it's not really what you'd find in most uh like mainstream stuff today you know there's still a lot of underground rappers who sound sort of like me I, i'd say i mean probably um or, or have that same sort of energy I, yeah yeah i'd say the energy not necessarily the sound um but yeah what i do is like my writing process i just like i sort of envision um I, i'm in a mental state and i have in a mood like, i have a mood like a, a wavelength and i'll just write like out an idea that expresses that or, or that uh, shows the audience. I, I don't like to, uh, I don't like to tell uh, the listener. I, I like to show what, what I mean by that is like, instead of saying like, I feel sad, I'll, I'll write out a scene that makes you feel that way or that, um, that you would understand if you saw that you would feel this way. Um, and I, 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 I really strongly believe in that show don't tell uh, mentality because it, in, it makes, the audience member feel more involved or sorry, the listener feel more involved. Um, and I think it helps people to relate to what you're seeing. Um, so what I'll do is I'll like, I'll write out um, an idea or a scene, just one line. And then like, I'll do it a few more times, you know, like plant a few seeds. And then as I'm writing, I'll just sit down, write it all in one go, not, a, not, like I won't finish the song in one go, but I'll write out like the main ideas and then, you know, go back. Oh, but basically I'll like, write down three or four ideas, whatever, and then write down and then 
maybe I'll, I'll write backwards. It definitely not a linear fashion. Um, but like, I'll, I'm, I'm sorry. Did you say something? Oh no, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll, and then, and then those four ideas sort of become the like four elements in a song or four um, like basically branching off points. Um, because I, I think that's something interesting is that a lot of new newer uh, artists struggle with making full length, like several minute long songs because, you know, they just run out of stuff to say or something that I, I think a lot of uh writers do and this isn't even just in rap this is in most writing in general is it's like it's like the equivalent of when you're writing an essay instead of you know having more ideas just expressing the same ideas but more like with more prose without even saying more um and that's something that a lot of rappers do too is they'll just say stuff just to say it and just to have it in there even if it doesn't actually have an important role in the song um which is, is fine. I mean, I guess it, it's, it, it doesn't all have to be like very meaningful and impactful, especially if it's a song that's just going for a mood or, you know, like, like what I, what I like to do again is just um, like per give the audience member a feeling. Um, and then if you're, you know, just writing stuff that goes along with that and it's all like sort of uh, compacted and, and uh, um, uniform in a, in a feeling and you're presenting it to the listener, then, then that, that can be good. But uh, a lot of times people will just, you know, write stuff just to write it. Uh, and I think that's the main takeaway is that I don't like to do that. I like to write stuff because it's important and it is relevant to whatever I'm telling at the time. Yeah, I definitely feel you. I definitely do. Mm -hmm. I definitely, I definitely understand your point of view. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, I feel like probably most people would agree with that, um, but like m may not necessarily, you know, um, have consciously thought of it, but like agree with the sentiment. Yeah, I guess so. I guess you have a point with that. I guess I, guess I agree with that too. Um, mm -hmm. All right, man. Um, so what was the trigger point that made you decide to get into music? Hmm. Um, that's a tough one. That, that re really is difficult because I don't know if there would be one specific point. Um, like my dad um, inspired me to get into music, not necessarily hip hop. Like when I was back in middle school, he inspired me to get into the clarinet or to learn the clarinet. Um, and I mean, it's hardly the same thing, but it's, uh, you know, music is music. So uh, that might have, you know, helped me get off the ground in terms of my uh, desire to make music. It's really difficult to, you know, pick one point in this whole timeline of everything that leads up to where I am now and say that that's where I started. Um, so I, I don't know, I, I'd have to... I'd have to think about that, but I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to answer with, there wasn't one for now. Um, cause I, yeah, I, I don't think there was like one single point. Oh, okay. I'm expecting that, but, um, <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> so just, um, just another thing. Um, if you were not a musician, what would you, uh, what would you be basically? Like, if you were not a musician, who would you be? Uh huh. Uh, good question. So I think um, I'd probably be an engineer. Uh, which I don't know. I feel like that that might be a, a one of the rare responses you get, uh, especially out of rappers. But um, because like I, I think a lot of uh, artistic people um, have just sort of a, a more artistic mindset. Um, which I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe you get that often. But I think engineer probably because um, I don't know. I just like I like to change things, and I, I like to like when I see something that's wrong or that could be better. I, I like to go in and, and like change it. Um, so, or or at least you know try my hand at it. It doesn't always go well, and I mean I'm still 18. You know, I'm, I still have a lot a lot a long way to go, a lot to learn. But um, 
Yeah, I, I'd say engineer because it, it, that's uh, that line of work gives you a lot of ability to like come up with new and creative solutions. You know, if if there's not one, you can just invent one. Um, or like, uh, if not an engineer, then well, not just regular engineer, aerospace engineer. Because I mean, you know, space travel's cool. Like, you know, <laughs> it may seem a bit childish. I don't know, but like, you know, future of humanity, um, or improving the future of humanity is. Um, I mean, you know, who can't vibe with that, right? I, I definitely feel you there. Hmm. An engineer is cool. I also kind of want to be one, but not not the one you were saying, a computer engineer. Oh, okay. Soft. Wow, yeah. I, I, um, I, I know a little bit of Python, but <laughs> not really enough to, like, be an engineer. But that's cool. Yeah. yeah, in my opinion, I think it's cool. Some people don't, but that's their opinion. Mm. Yeah, people are entitled to their opinion, but, you know. Mm -hmm. um, market of ideas, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um. So I mentioned the clarinet. Uh, do you play any instruments? Uh, mm, no. So uh, I, I actually have my clarinet right here uh, on my dresser, but I haven't opened it in a couple years. Um, so I, I don't play any instruments. I, you know, I gave the shot at a piano a while ago. Um, I didn't have the endurance for that. To, no. to be honest, um, like I, I, I have a pretty, pretty big case or pretty strong case of ADHD. So I, I get in these uh, like phases where I'm like really invested in something only to drop it a week later. Uh, and piano was like that for me. And I, I may still go back and learn it like totally, definitely a possibility. Um, but yeah, hip hop is just, is more my thing. Uh, and not like hip hop doesn't use instruments, um, but I mean like writing in particular. And I have like uh, tried to write beats, uh, but that's something where I'm much, uh, less um, talented at so far and I, I i am getting better uh but it, i'm not quite there yet i'm not you know at a point where i could actually share those uh like instrumentals that i've made um and i'm who knows maybe learning instruments would or yeah maybe learning other instruments would help me out with that but um yeah i mean not right now uh, so short answer no oh i see i totally get you mm -hmm. I totally, I totally understand the whole instrument thing with the piano and clarinet. I hope you do actually learn it. That'd be nice uh, on a rap song mm -hmm. to have those, to have a nice little piano with a rap beat. That'd be, yeah. that, that'd be cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of it, good instrumentals do make good use of the piano. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. All right. Um. So, and I know you've gone through this, but have you ever gone through music block? I'm sorry. Uh, say that again. I said, have you ever gone through music block? Oh. Yeah. Uh Yeah. I, I like. You mean like writer's block? Oh yeah, but in the rap world, it's called music block. But people say okay. music director's block or writer's block, basically all the same thing. Mm, yeah. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, I, I most definitely have. Um, let's see. I think last year, I, I just, I, I um, as I mentioned earlier, like um, I write when it feels like it's best for me. Um, so when I'm in the right mindset, which it's hard to like force myself into the mindset. It can be done, but it's easier just to get there naturally. But because of that, I don't necessarily write on a regular basis all the time. Um, it's like, I'll go through like phases, like, like cycles basically where like for a couple weeks, I'll write a lot and then not do it. Um, but not writing sort of puts me more at risk of uh, having a m much harder time getting back into it and uh, making it nice uh, when I, when I start writing again. So like, yeah, I, I've definitely gone through a couple uh, of those points where I'm, um, uh, I'll am i start writing and that, like after having taken a long hiatus and I, I'm like just 
having difficulty uh, expressing what I'm thinking without it sounding corny or, or too rigid. Um, basically, it's like, um, like, like I, I speak Hungarian, right? So I'm, I'm actually a dual citizen. My mother's Hungarian. My, my dad grew up in the Bronx, um, or sorry, in the Yonkers. Um, and, but when I spend a lot of time in America, like I, I, um, I have trouble getting back and speaking into hung, in speaking Hungarian. Like, um, it, it's just, it's the same with music. Like once I get back, I'm like, I can still understand it all. Uh, like I can still understand if I listen to to music, like I still, you know, notice the same things, but actually expressing myself gets a lot more difficult. Um, and that puts me into like this block state. And I, I find that the best way to get out of that is just to write. It, it's, um, you know, like, so, like maybe, be listening to more music, uh, rappers that I enjoy, or even like someone new, um, just to give me like a fresh, fresh state of mind. But ultimately, the best way to get out of a writer's block or, or a music block is just to keep making it, you know, just because um, it, it, once you start getting ideas down, you, you'll be able to flow. Um, and also the best way to not get into one, I think, is just to practice and just to keep, uh, keep going. Um, because then you know you don't run the risk of getting out of practice, which will basically mean you're gonna run into a block. Um, and yeah, so <laughs> that's that. Nice, nice advice, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. Hope it's helpful. Maybe, hey, maybe some uh, aspiring rapper listening to this find that helpful. Uh, you know, if it's not obvious, anyways. <laughs> Yeah. Um, all right, man. Um, I'm starting to stutter. Um, we are about winding down, but there's one last thing that you gotta do, and it's tradition. Okay. Right here. Except, except one person broke it. They'll pay for that. <laughs> all right. Okay. It's time for you to wrap it out. Okay. All right then. So, um, do you got a beat for me or? Just, uh, just acapella. You don't have to use. You could do acapella. Most people do acapella, and I recommend you do do you do do uh, do uh, acapella. Okay. All right, I can do acapella. Let's see. <sighs> oh man, I'm pretty low energy right now, but let's see how this goes. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. All right. See, when FDR asked you to ask not, I have my answer in this snapshot of the class demographic backdrop. Have the haves and replace them with the have nots, led by a working class mascot for the boys balling on the blacktop. We try to plant. They just sell it off as cash crop, as hyper as a crack rock. Persevere against reactionary ad hoc. I drop through the life behind the padlock. That's real black power, black steel in the hour of serenity. Chaos become a memory, but Gene still steeped in a Huey P pedigree. I see the past and just can't let it be, cause capital success is just hereditary. I see the truth and then I set it free. Consistent like toll boots and excessive fees. Or carbon use and energy. Aim for top three like the letter C. Infectious like it's leprosy. And that's just what I let you see. Legacy is definitely deafer than the Pleiocene. For me, it seems so silent. Because even Liam Neeson needs some peace and quiet. Time to cue the seer. Fear not of man, because man is only mortal. Batten down the hatches and reinforce the portals. Our problems are man-made from man they sprung. But one made by man can by man be made undone. Some plans made demand a marathon on one lung. Some impossible and some far-fetched become far-flung. Start shut some education to treat the trepidation because hesitation leads to seeing vehement abrasion disease in the diseases in the nation grow from seeds of devastation planted by a history of miscommunication not facing what corporatism brings inflated health care for elders are distinct a minute when i said it it. Corporate heads are profiteering off this epidemic. Opiates ingested, COVID set to be endemic. And if anything, our enemies is mad energetic. It's a setup we get wet up. They just paint it photogenic. Medical emergency at a nationwide murder scene, like election maps that paint a nation burgundy. Courtesy of a state-sponsored burglary, surgery is needed at an utmost urgency. Chances of survival are an uncertain certainty. Serpentine politicians invested in divisions, pitted us against, and we're vying for our riches. This you understand is the basis of a business. Let's place up our demands and take a Stand against the vicious.
<laughs> and then like you know you, you spend a while looking at other people's things and then you see like 15 songs that are also like you know like a similar quality and it's just like you know there's no end to it and i feel like it really rap had i well first of all i think rap has a great community um like it's just great for hosting a community but it also really lends itself to comparing yourself to others which while it you know uh as, you know as most def said uh hip-hop is violently competitive uh and it, it's just part of the culture i guess you know comparing yourself to others but at the same time uh it's important i think to you know really regulate that uh and not let your self-confidence go down the drain so just you know comparing yourself to yourself primarily until you're strong enough to compare yourself to others uh so i, I don't spend a lot of time on rap pad because i you know i'd rather you know just be in my own head comparing myself to myself until I have something that I can really be proud of. Oh, I see. I I, I understand. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I looks really like we do. have uh, someone else. He's just, he's just yeah. um, watching. Oh, I see. Okay. <sighs> hmm. So a big thank you for coming here uh, today. A big thank you. You were really amazing. Yeah, thanks for, your for having first me. Interview. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> thanks. It's a lot of fun. No problem, man. It was really great for you to be here. Yeah. It was fun as well. In my opinion, it was fun. And so, to. To end, to end this, is there any shout outs, any any last words, any advice to the new to the kids out there? Uh, hey, I'm I'm really sorry. My my headset just does this sometimes, but my headset disconnected. <laughs> Could you say that again? Okay, so is there any last words you like to say? Any shout outs, any advice to the kids out there just starting rapping? Ooh, yeah. I mean Think critically. Uh, that's what I want to say. You know, look uh, look around you. Um, I, I find best music is often by people who talk about what's around them uh, and, and who see the change they want to make in the world and talk about it and try to inspire others to also want that change. So, you know, look around you, think critically. Uh, like, um, like Dead Press said, uh, believe none of what you hear and half of what you see. So just, you know, think about everything to the fullest and really, really try to perfect your craft and, and think about what you're saying and what you're putting out there. Uh, so, yeah, that's all for me. <laughs> Thanks for having me. No problem, man. And great advice. Great advice. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I hope I you can have, see have a fantastic day. man and y'all out there thank you guys for watching make sure to follow us on social media by the way we now have social media make sure to follow us on instagram twitter facebook pinterest if you use it and we have youtube so make sure y'all sure you follow us on social media and i will see y'all very soon bye